Dr. Karen Wicks, and uh, I'm leading a team of archaeologists from the University of Reading. Uh, excavation at Crete Dew on the Isle of Mull in the Hebrides in Western Scotland. Um, I'm co-directing this uh, excavation with Stephen Mythen. We first learned of this site by the uh, uh, owner um, who had found chipstone artifacts in this very garden whilst he was cultivating potatoes. So we first came here to evaluate the site in 2006 uh, where we put a slot trench across the site um, and we found um, several thousand chipstone artifacts, very typical of the um, material cultural remains of the uh, Mesolithic hunter-gatherers of Western Scotland. Um, and we came back in 2010, extended the area um, of, our, of our trench um, to reveal a whole complex of archaeological features um, that we know uh, date to um, the very earliest um, radiocarbon date indicates activity here first at around about 10,200 years ago. Um, there seems to have been an abandonment of the site and uh, activity re uh, recommencing at about 9,000, uh, around 8,700 uh, Cal BP. My name is Nick Pankhurst and I'm the Project Supervisor on the Great Deal Excavations at the University of Reading. And I've been working here with Reading students and students from the University of Aberdeen and York uh, to reveal the features that you can see behind me. And what we've found in these excavations are a number of small pits with these stones within them, stone settings. Most of the stones have got signs of scorching on them, suggesting that they're little fire pits, probably used for cooking or just for heating. And surrounding these pits, we've got a, a semicircular arc of stake holes, suggesting that they've put in some sort of windbreak or little fence to protect them while they're using these features. From the pits, we've had a large number of flint artifacts and lots of charcoal that will be helpful for our radiocarbon samples. My name's Rory, and I have been, I'm a graduate from the University of Reading, and I have been digging um, for the Southern Hebrides project and the East. Um, Mesolithic Hebrides project for three years now. The other sites were in Isla, but now we are digging in Mal, um, which I'm very pleased about. Uh, we've been finding chipped stone artifacts, and uh, but I've mostly been wet sitting in the stream, which is very fun. Okay, so what we're doing here is um, after everything's been excavated, all the features have been planned, they've been sectioned, we've sampled them. And these samples are then given to me. What I'm doing is floating them first, so using a technique called flotation. This is a flotation tank full of water. We put the sample in water, the pump pumps the water through, and basically we agitate and clean the sample, which encourages anything that's within the soil to float to the surface. So organic remains, this is what we're really, really interested in. Um, these are separated out and then collected in a sieve, like this sieve here. Um, once we've done that, they will get dried up um, and then taken back to um, a, a specialist to be identified. Um, and it's really important that we do this in this way um, because they're quite fragile. After this, all the heavy residue is taken down to the river where we've got Phoebe and uh, Rory who are doing stack sieves. So we process this heavy residue through four different sizes, the 4mm, 2mm, 1mm and 0.5mm. These are then further dried and then sorted out to pick out artefacts such as flint tools um, and also organic remains like charcoal and char hazelnuts. We know where everything comes from, everything's got sample numbers and context numbers, so right at the end we can all bring it together and yeah, have a part of the story um, as well as the, the site itself. So here I have a, a range of artefacts that we've collected from uh, the site of Crete D, um, and these are classic um, um, types of, of uh, deriving from the narrow blade industries of the west coast of Mesolithic Scotland, and we have these uh, blade cores, um, these very uh, nice parallel sided uh, blades, and then the very fine uh, microliths, so typical and characteristic of Mesolithic hunter gatherer activity.